G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now you are about to learn how to build your first autonomous agent using Copilot Studio. Now, fairly common scenario here, but it will give you the concepts and the, the processes that will help you build some more advanced autonomous agents into the future. So the scenario we're gonna look at is a customer service agent that is going to respond to customer inquiries coming from either a website, on a form, or into an email inbox. So we can see here that I am in Copilot Studio. We go to copilotstudio.microsoft.com and you'll be taken to this environment. Now I'm going to click on create and we are going to create a brand new agent. All right, I'm not going to describe it, although we could, right? So we could be a little bit meta here and use Copilot to actually uh, talk to Copilot to build our Copilot Studio agent, but I'm going to flick over to configure. All right, so we can see here the anatomy of our agent, pretty pretty stock standard, right? We've got a name, a description, instructions, we've got our knowledge, we've got suggested prompts. Now, I want to get into a little bit more of the advanced, advanced features. So we want triggers and tools as well. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to actually create this agent without entering in anything here. So I am going to call this one Superannuation Assistant. All right, and I will just hit create, okay? Because once we hit create, that opens up a lot of other features and functionality for us, which we need in this scenario. Now, you'll notice in Copilot Studio that we do have a lot of other things that we can configure and set up. Now, the first thing I'm going to, going to set up in this scenario is I'm going to change the agent model. Now, I've enabled uh, Claude, to be used in my tenant. So I'm going to select that from the agent model list in a minute. But you'll notice we do need to wait until the agents set up and finished before we can set anything. So I can select my agent model and I'm going to select Claude Sonnet 4.5 for this particular scenario. Now, if we scroll down a little bit down here, we can see that we've got triggers, we've got instructions, we've got knowledge, and we've got tools. We've even got other agents. So we can connect this agent with uh, another agent as well. Okay, so other agents can handle dedicated parts of this process. Not for this video, that will happen in a future video. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some knowledge, all right? Now, the knowledge I'm going to add here, because we're talking about superannuation products, I'm going to add some documents, right? Now, these documents, I'm just going to upload these directly into the agent, all right? So I'm going to upload some files. Now, these files are three product documents, all right? Three files here. You can see I've got these files, and I'm going to just remove the last part of these file names because just to make it a little bit cleaner for us and we've got our description um, again I'm just going to clean this up and descriptions become pretty important as well all right the more uh, the more metadata and the more context uh, we can give to our knowledge the better the results are going to be so it's uploading the files now these do need to be processed and indexed and hopefully by the end of after we've gone through um, the other steps these will be ready for us to go all right so you can see here these are now being in, um, in progress they're being indexed they're being um, processed so that this agent knows about these documents now let's write our instructions. Actually, we'll do that last. What I'm going to do, I'm gonna add uh, a tool first, all right? Uh, no, we'll add the trigger first. Let's, let's change things up a bit. So if I scroll up, you can see that I've got a trigger. Now these triggers wake this agent up. So when I click on add trigger, you'll notice that we've got a lot of familiar looking triggers to us if you're familiar with maybe Power Automate, okay? so. I want to have a trigger of when an email arrives. So you can see here, I've got this option. When a new email arrives, V3, that's when I want this agent to wake up. Now, if you think about the scenarios here, you could have a web form uh, or anything else that's then sending the form and the, and the inputs of that form to 
an email inbox or it could be a direct email. So the connections are all set up and you can see the folder, all right? The mail folder to, to, to check. So again, I can choose the folders that I've got, all right? So I'm going to choose just the default inbox. Now I am going to provide a little bit more um, filtering options here because I don't want it to process every single email. So I'm going to add in a subject filter here. So I only want this agent to wake up when an email arrives and the subject is request for product information. All right, then I'm going to hit create trigger. Okay, so now that is processing, right? So that's going to now create that trigger for me. So this agent will wake up and start to take some actions when a new email arrives. So it's listening on the inbox for an email with that particular subject. So the trigger is now all set up. Now you'll notice also that we do have some tools. Now I'm going to add a new tool, all right? We're listening to an email inbox, but I wanna to listen to the email inbox and then I wanna process that email. I want to then look at my knowledge and then I want to send an email, right? So I'm going to use a tool called send an email, all right? So let's search for it. So we'll go and search for send, well, I've, that, that will do. So send an, an email v2 is what we want, right? So again, I've got my connections. I'm going to add this tool and I'm going to configure this tool. We've got our connections all set up and you can see that I've got my details. I'm just gonna change this. I'll just keep this nice and simple. This operation sends an email message. Now, if I hover over this information here, you can see that in a few words, we wanna say what it is and when it should be used. So the agent can use this effectively. So this is where the description of your tools become important because we describe it and the agent is going to determine when and which tool is appropriate to use, all right? So this is a fairly simple one. So I'm going to just leave it. This operation sends an email message because I'm going to, in my instructions, tell that, all right? Here, I've got my input, I've got my two, I've got my subject, and I've got my body. Now you'll see that it, dy it dynamically fills with AI or I could set custom values. Now I'm just going to leave all of this to dynamically fill with AI, all right? I'm just gonna save that. So that's the tool. Now, if we pop back to the instructions now, and let's get all our instructions set up. So I'm just gonna jump back to overview and I will click the edit button. Now the edit button here is where we do this, right? So I've got my instructions all written out and let's have a read. So you're an agent that assists the product customer service team. Now I'm not gonna read all this out. You can stop, pause and read it if we want. And you can see that I've got its role, its purpose. Now you can see also that I've got the steps. So I'm going to say uh, agent workflow. I'm going to add this here. I'm just going to also just bold that. The first step is to pass the body of the email and identify the products. Second step is to search the internal knowledge source for information. Then I want to use, and we can do this here. I want to use, and if I hit the forward slash, we can see that we can select the tool that we want to use. So I'm going to explicitly say, I want to use the send an email tool to write an email response to the client with a nice welcome, welcoming and a summary of the products. And I also link down here, I'm going to link my bookings calendar. So I've got the link to my bookings calendar and I will paste that in there like so. All right. So you can see here that is the instructions, right? You'll also see that these, these knowledge sources are still in progress, right? So let's just wait for these to process. Once they're ready, we will then be in a position to be able to test this agent. 
All right, so these have now been created, or not created, but are now ready. They've been processed. So what we are going to do now is we are going to send an email, right? So I'm going to, I'm just over here in Frankie's email, right? So I'm going to send an email to the email inbox, and we I'm going to explicitly grab request for product information so that I am doing the right thing and this is going to trigger. So I've got request for product information. I'm gonna say, hi, I am interested. Let's fix up our spelling. Interested in finding out more about your superannuation products, please. All right, and let's send that email. All right, so that's taken from, sent from a customer, sent from a client, sent from a, somebody inquiring about our products. That email is going to land in my inbox. Now, what we need to do is, well, we can test this, right? So right here under the trigger, so if I scroll up, we've got this option here to test our trigger. Now, if we click test our trigger, you can see that there's the email that's just arrived, right? So we can test it using that real data. So let's start this test, all right? So what we'll see on the right-hand side here is that we'll actually see the process that this agent is going through, all right? We'll, we'll, we'll be able to see the thinking and the thought process. So you can see here, the user's provided the email, here's the information, and let me search for the information about your super products to help you respond to this inquiry, right? So we can, and this is a this is really interesting to see the thought process. So you can see here, it's found two products. There's the inquiry, there's the summary, there's the products. Now you'll notice that there's, uh, there's only two products here, all right? Now, but there's three products in the knowledge, all right? So it has determined that one of them isn't a superannuation product. So what's happened here is it's now just clarifying, would you like me to draft a response to Frankie? Um, can you just please send it? And let's give that, okay? So what we should see now is some additional thought process that's happening, right? We can see here, drafting the information, I've got this. And you can see that it's called the send an email connector action. But I do need, because this is the first time I've run it, I do need to just allow this connection, okay? So let's have a look. We are done, we're good, I heard a bing. So let's have a look at Frankie's email and we will grab this email here, there it is, and you'll see that I've now received these two emails, or these two products that the agent has automatically researched and got for me based on the email that it received. And you can see that it's formatted. Now I, I am using Claude's, uh, Claude 4.5 here. So what it has done is it's created a, a HTML email for me, which is nicely laid out and set. I've even got this little section down here uh, with the link to the bookings calendar. So when I click that, you can see that I do have, um, that is a real link and it does work. All right, so if I go back to my agent, let's just give this a new test. So a new test session, all right? And what we might do is I'll go back to overview. I'll jump back into my trigger and let's give this another crack, all right? So I'm going to use the same approach, all right? So let's have a look and We'll see that it's testing again just now on the right hand side and we'll see the process. Here we go here. And we're looking at the, the thought process and the steps, right? So it's got it, it's got the two products 
And then in the instructions, I've asked it to do this. So let's draft it. Uh, let's say looks good. Uh, can you now send that in a nicely formatted HTML email? And we'll hit send, all right? So you can see that the different types of scenarios that these type of autonomous agents can give us, right? So the typical example, customer service or uh, something that's happening in uh, that's receiving that you're receiving via email coming into an inbox but it could be a lot of other triggers because as we saw with our triggers when we add a trigger there are so many different types of triggers that will help wake this email up uh, this agent up all right so let's have a look um, it's got this it's sending the email again now this one is a little bit different all right, now what we've done, and here's the email. So you can see I've got, that's just come in. I've got even more, I've even got in, uh, links. So what the, the LLM's done, what Claude's done is actually gone and got the links to these products or these websites. Um, and that looks pretty good, okay? So there we go, building your first autonomous agent in Copilot Studio. Thanks for watching. See you next time.